Hi, everybody. So as a dental professional, what do you do if you don't necessarily agree with what the dentist is doing in the dental office? So let me give you some examples. Let's say they, they demand you take x-rays on kids every three months, even if you know they don't really need it, or they're double charging people, not in a bad way, but they just charge so much more. Um, they're still within the fee guide, but they charge so much more and they come in for half a second and you don't like that. Or maybe you just don't agree with the office politics. You come in an hour early every day because they make you, but you're not being paid for that. At least you're being organized with charts, but you're not being paid for that. Maybe you never get a lunch. So you see what I'm getting at here. You're working for an office that there's just things you don't like about it. Do you stay? Do you not say anything? Do you bring it up or do you leave? So let me offer you some tips and tricks here. So let's take x-rays as an example. If that dentist is making you take x-rays, x-rays every six months because that's just their office policy and you're okay with that well that's one thing but personally I wouldn't be okay with that because as we know every client is different and some of them do need x-rays every six months because they get a ton of cavities but some do not and what if patients are saying I can't afford it I don't want the x-rays but then you get yelled at by your boss for not taking them it's ultimately dependent on what you can handle I was always very firm as a dental professional, so I just simply wouldn't take the x-rays if I felt it wasn't necessary. Not saying I knew more than the dentist, but I would look in the chart and say, well, they haven't had a cavity for five years. They've been getting x-rays every six months. Now is the time to maybe stop because their teeth are looking pretty good. So I would just simply let the dentist know why I thought that. <clears throat> If they were able to convince me otherwise of why they're still taking the x-rays every six months, then okay, we could at least talk about it and have that good relationship. You might be right, they might be right, it doesn't matter. But if you're not comfortable with something, it's your license on the line. I have worked for dental offices before where I would do the work, I would put the codes in, and the receptionist would literally change my codes to a two-unit scale to magically a four-unit scale. And I would tell them, I see you changed the codes in the computer, but that's not what I did. You crossed out what I did in the chart. That's not right. Like, you can't do that. And they would say, well, Andrea, we've told you for every adult patient for 60 minutes, it has to be four units of scale. And I would say, I didn't do that. They had hardly any plaque. We talked about oral hygiene. We did other things. And I'm actually done in 45 minutes. So how can I charge for one hour and four units of scale when I didn't do that? That's a little bit different. I wasn't comfortable with that and I left the office very, very quickly. That was a temp position. So it depends on what's going on and what you're doing. If you're not getting a lunch ever, that's really too bad. I would talk to the dentist about that and say, listen, I'm never getting a lunch because nobody's helping me. It would help if maybe an assistant were, would turn down the room or maybe you're a dental assistant never getting a lunch because the dentist is always booking into your lunch. I would talk about that. But if nothing changes, look for another office. You don't have to quit right away, but look for another office and maybe take that into consideration. So things to think about. It depends on what you're okay with. But if you're, you're losing sleep over something, you're just coming into the office every day with anxiety, you don't like it, there's office politics, there are some amazing offices out there, you just might have to find them. Even if you're getting paid a little bit less or more, maybe you'll be super lucky. But find an office that works for you because personalities don't always mesh. We're in this small space all the time with the same people. You might not get along with the staff there and you might get along so much better in another office. We work too much to not be happy with work. So please consider it, you guys, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.